walked 30 miles today. I'm feeling very excited. Very proud. Very proud. Very strong. <laughs> very, very strong. A little tired. Very tired. We'd like to qualify that today is probably the most exposed. Yeah. The sunniest, most elevation. Yeah. Um, driest. Driest. There were no mm -hmm. water sources. Uh, nope. Day that um, we've had so far. Yeah. And we walked 30 miles. We killed it. We killed it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it took us from 5.30 a.m. Yep. And now it's 7.30 p.m. Yeah. And we had like three hours of breaks. Yeah. Killed it. Nature is cool. In the mountains, on one side, you can have a thunderstorm. Hopefully it will thunder again, but it's been pounding over there. And on the other side, sunshine! We're hiding in the shade because it's so hot. Sun. Some of you have asked us uh, where we sleep at night, how we camp. So uh, we thought we'd show you what a site looks like. So we are currently standing on a site. Uh, you can tell it's a site because it's flat and pretty open and there's some rocks. Uh, there's normally rocks that are in the shape of people's tents because they use them to peg the tent down when it's really windy. Uh, so things that we're looking for in a site, we want it to be flat, obviously, because we'll be sleeping there on the ground. <laughs> um, and then we want it to be sheltered. So uh, we want there to be trees around uh, or a big rock or something to block the wind because a lot of the time on the mountains, it's pretty windy. Uh, so this site actually has a lot of trees, but it is fairly open. So if it was windy, we might consider not staying here, but uh, it's not very windy today. Um, so... Other things that we look for in a site, we want it to be close to water. Uh, it's nice because you use a lot of water when you're at site to make your dinner, to make your breakfast in the morning, and it's really good to hydrate a lot when you're at site because during the day when you're walking it's easy to forget to drink sometimes, so it's really nice when you're by a water source and you don't need to conserve. Um, this site is not by a water source, so this would be called dry camping. Some sites only have space for one tent and some sites have space for a ton of tents so some nights we'll camp and it'll just be the two of us in our two tents and other nights we'll camp and we'll be with you know 10 other people so it really depends uh, this is super close to the trail uh, the trail is right there right so we talked a little bit about tent sites and one of the ways that we find that is by using um, a couple different apps. Um, the one we use the most is called Gut Hooks um, and it describes the water, the campsites, just kind of things coming up the trail. Um, there's also maps um, that we use uh, by half mile um, and a couple other resources that we'll check in on. So those have been really useful for us for um, finding where we need to go and knowing where things are. Um, we also very much just follow the trail. It's very clearly defined. And then on the trail they have these markers. So um, it'll tell you like who can be on the trail, who can't be on the trail. This is a lot of don't be on the trail because it's mostly just a footpath. Um, some places a lot of horses as well. And then it has a sticker that will say Pacific Crest Trail on it. Um, depending on when it was put up, it might be like a little metal sign on a tree. It might be a different type of sticker, but these kind of line the trail so we always know where we are um, and making sure that we're actually following the correct trail. Uh, so the apps, the maps, um, the trail itself, and these markers are really helpful ways in which we orient ourselves. One of our favorite things about the PCT is how efficiently the path is cut into the mountain. As you can see here, Anne is walking about, well, I don't know, 20 meters for a distance of, I don't know, five. Woohoo! Hey y'all, we hey. made it to, well, almost to Kennedy Meadows, Woo! which means the desert is done. Done, done, done! Um, you're seeing our shadows right now because it's really, really sunny, so I'm you won't be able lit. to see our faces. But look, we're talking! Shadow puppets! Ooh, look, the shadow's eating the phone. Meh, meh. <laughs> That's probably funnier for us. It is. It's been a long day. <laughs> It's been a really hot day. Yeah. Well, so we're coming to you live from the desert. We are. And we just wanted to tell you a couple of things that we're gonna really sorely miss when we leave this hellhole. It's true. Um, I personally am gonna miss um, almost stepping on rattlesnakes. I am going to miss bees at water sources and thus being forced to choose between dehydration or attack by angry swarm of bees. I'm gonna miss walking 
35 miles between water sources. <sighs> I am going to miss shade coverage by plants that are as high as my ankle. Does a really <laughs> nice job for my ankle, nothing else. <laughs> I am going to miss <laughs> just being so hot and having no wind and no shade and nothing but prickly things like cactuses. I'm gonna miss the desert's super hospitable environment. Yeah. All the plants trying to poke me, the animals that are venomous and try and kill us, um, the lack of shade, the lack of water. The blisters my feet get when yeah. it's this hot. Yeah, it's a super, super hospitable, lovely place. Yep. Um, yeah, other than that, I think we loved everything about the desert. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Nature is cool, and just to prove that we really don't hate the desert, it is so beautiful. It is beautiful.